The EPB ERB2 primary dry radial seal air cleaners are used in light dust applications. This includes on-highway vehicles, standby generator sets, and all other light duty applications. The EPB ERB2 is also used in medium and heavy duty applications, but then is always combined with a pre-cleaner accessory. Here are the recommended service steps. Step 1. Check the filter service indicator. Filter service indicators mounted on the air cleaner system are recommended for monitoring the air cleaner restriction level and indicating when servicing is due during normal operation. Replace the filter only when the restriction level has reached the maximum recommended by the engine or equipment manufacturer. If the restriction level is in question or to test the initial restriction, Remove the filter service indicator and measure the system restriction using a clock type restriction gauge or a water manometer. For more on Donaldson restriction indicators and measuring tools, see module A18. Step 2. Remove the filter. Unfasten or unlatch the service cover. Gently move the end of the filter back and forth to break the seal then rotate while pulling straight out. Avoid knocking the filter against the housing. Step 3. Check the evacuator valve. If your air cleaner is equipped with evacuator valve, visually check and physically squeeze it. Step 4. Visually inspect the safety filter. If your air cleaner has a safety filter, check it visually for damage and verify that the safety filter is properly seated in the housing. Do not remove the safety filter unless you are replacing it. Replace the safety filter every three primary filter changes or if it is damaged. When the safety filter has been removed for replacement, install the new filter immediately or make sure you cover the air cleaner outlet tube to avoid admitting contaminant to the engine. Step 5. Clean both surfaces of the outlet tube. Using a clean damp cloth, wipe both the inside diameter and outside diameter of the air cleaner outlet tube. Make sure that all contaminant is removed before the new filter is inserted. Engine manufacturers say that it takes only a few grams of dirt to seriously damage an engine. Step 6. Inspect the old filter. Inspect the old filter for any signs of leaks. A streak of dust on the clean side of the filter is a telltale sign. Eliminate any source of air leaks before installing the new primary filter. Step 7. Inspect the new filter for damage. Visually inspect the new filter carefully, paying special attention to the inside of the open end, which is the sealing area. Never wipe the radial seal because the new Donaldson radial seal may have a dry lubricant on the seal to aid installation. And never install a damaged filter. Step 8. Insert the new filters. First, if you're servicing the safety filter at this change out, seat it into position before installing the primary filter. Insert the new filters carefully by hand making certain that they are completely inserted into the air cleaner housing. Note that no cover pressure is required to hold the seal. If the primary filter is not fully in place, remove the cover and push the filter farther into the air cleaner with hand pressure on the filter's outer rim. The cover will then go on with no extra force. Once the filter is in place, secure the service cover. Step 9. Check the complete air cleaner system. Make sure restriction indicators are reset and in proper working order. Check that all mounting bands, clamps, bolts, and connections in the entire air cleaner system are tight. Check for holes in piping and repair or replace as needed. To conclude our training module, let's summarize the service steps presented. Check the filter service indicator. Remove the service cover if applicable and then remove the used primary filter. Check the evacuator valve. 
Visually inspect the safety filter. If not servicing the safety filter, do not remove to inspect. If servicing the safety filter, remove and inspect. Clean the gasket sealing surface. Inspect the used primary filter. Inspect the new filters. Install the safety filter, if applicable, and then install the primary filter. Check the entire air system for worn or loose components. This servicing information is provided as a best practices guide. It is not, however, intended to replace or supersede the service instructions supplied by your engine or vehicle manufacturer.